All right, guys, it is mid-August. It is seven in the morning. Me and Virgil are doing a 10-mile float. The first mile is Missouri, and the last nine are Arkansas. We have never done this section of the river before, so it's something new and different. We're going to be going after smallmouth, largemouth, pickerel, walleye, and goggle eye. Come along with us. It's a full moon. The high today is only 86 degrees, which is fairly decent for August. We're hoping this uh, full moon turned the fish on. There's a lot of activity in the water. I'm seeing a lot of splashes. I got a good feeling about today. Hoping to get me a, a giant walleye. Oh. Should I set down, you think, and then you just shove me in? Yeah. Right. There's still plants down here this far. Not as many, but. Oh yeah! Mm. What in the world, man? Red ear! Wow! On a crankbait? Guys, I just caught a nice seven, eight inch red ear on a flicker shad. Well, that was an unexpected catch. I didn't bring my worms today because we don't got time, really. <laughs> Cause we ain't got time really to fish with worms. I freaking caught that. That's weird looking. It looks like a snake. Dude, I landed perfectly. God. I landed just like that. Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna show you this red ear. Try not to move for a second. That is a nice red ear, man, for a little river anyway. Heck yeah. He ain't got much of a red ear, but that's what it is. I thought I had a goggle eye at first, though. God. I'll take these. Man, I probably won't get another one of them. Can't believe he bit a crankbait, man. That's only happened one other time in my life that a red ears hit a crankbait. They don't normally do that at all. Catch them on worm. God. Buffaloes. Buffalo. Holy crap. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like 30. Shad! Oh my, why are they loving in here so much, man? What in the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god! The most. Oh my god! I'm trying to snag one. That was a small uh, black buffalo there. Oh my god! Alright guys, Virgil just caught a largemouth on the whopper plopper. I might cast over there. Damn man. I guess it was a good idea to stop anyway, huh? It's not that bad of a fish. We found a little bay guys. We thought this was a creek coming in, but all it turned out to be was a little backwater. And sure enough, that largemouth was sitting in here. I'll zoom here in a second. He's a pound. Oh, you got lucky he didn't fall on the other side. <laughs> He's a pound anyway. Virgil with his first real fish. So we've caught a red ear and a large mouth. All right, hey, we're getting somewhere now. Heck yeah, man. The start. 
here. It's had another one. It's goggle eyes or sunfish, one of the two. Something small. There we go. Oh no, it's not small. Small mouth. <clears throat> not bad. Whoa, I knew it. I knew this stuff. As soon as I pulled up to this, I'm like, man, we're gonna get something here. About 11. Oh, I got, okay guys, I caught him on a pink and yellow VMC Moon Eye 3 8 with a pink and yellow Bass Pro Shop Walleye Angler Paddle Tail. <sighs> and he's hooked so good, I can't get him off. I gotta use pliers. Hell yeah, finally, man. I think it's because we're in the shade. Why well, we finally got something. But that current's kind of rolling down here too, but it's calm. In the same spot. Damn, that's a hard fucking fish to get off. It's gonna ruin my swim bait, I can already tell. Jeez in a bad spot man real hard part near the eye there we go Boy, he went from real colorful when I first pulled him out of the water. He's real dull now. That quick. From stress. All right, try not to move for a minute. I mean, not majorly. All right, guys, 11-inch smallmouth. I'm happy to get him, though. It's been a slow morning. They're adding up, though, over time. I'll go over there in a second. See if I can use this again. I think it's good for one more fish. The hook ain't coming out where it's supposed to, but. Oh my. Oh man, this is a nice one. Nice one here, guys. I don't know what I got, but it's big, real big. Oh my God. Please be a walleye. Whoa! No, it's a small mouth. Definitely a small mouth. Yeah, let's get the net. This is a big one. Unless he's just fighting that current. Could be the current. No, it's a nice one. <laughs> oh! Boy, that's a beautiful one too, man. Good job, bud. Oh, we gotta get off to the side, huh? Before it sucks us down. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh, it was just your end. Oh, cool, it came off the hook. Look at that. Came off the hook on its own. Oh, wow. Man, that's a nice one there. I mean, he, it did fight harder because he was in the swift water. Yeah, here. All right. Guys. Finally, something worth mentioning. He's a beauty. I was going to say he's 13. Just a little slender. Beautiful smallmouth regardless, though, guys. Wow. Kind of out further than I expected to get him, but they're attracted to this hole for some reason. Nice smallmouth. He's already changed colors, too. Beautiful small mouth guys. All right, let's get her back in on the Storm Largo shad. Man, that's a nice fish there. All right, hell yeah. A little better. I'll take that size all day long, as long as they're a foot. Guys, talk about a crazy rapid. We was not about to float through this. 
we decided to play it safe and get out. But then I come up with the idea, since we're here, let's just fish from the bank. Boy, talk about crazy rapid. Wow. There's no reason we shouldn't get a fish here, man. Oh! Yep. Small mouth. I told you. <laughs> Man. Not bad. About 11. All right, guys. About an 11 inch small now. Heck yeah. Killer rapid here, guys. My goodness. And I've sat there and listened to people in that group say, oh yeah, it's like a swamp down in Arkansas. You don't want to go down there, you'll be paddling. Yeah, right. Maybe the very last mile or something. Yeah, it's real shallow, man. There we go. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> Better than nothing, right? Different kind. Long ear. All right, guys, long ear sunfish on a fire tiger crankbait. Well, if he calms down. No, he wants to splash me all day first. Beautiful long ear, though. Dude! All right! We get it. You want to go home? So now I caught something on one of the crankbaits, finally.
Got it. <clears throat> Got it. Small mouth. Hell yeah. Finally, first bass on the Fire Tiger crank. I was starting to, I was just about to switch this, thinking, oh, they don't like the colors or something, but it worked. Yeah, little guy, but it is a smallmouth guy. Heck yeah. Knew I deserved to get something through there. Damn. A damn fight. Bet. All right, guys, I just caught another smallmouth on the spiky shad. We are at a good looking hole on the left side, anyway. He's about 10 inches. <sighs> Gosh. Really? Now you're going to flop around for 20 minutes, ain't you? And splash me in the face. God, with freaking mud and thanks all right guys a little smally yeah it looks good on this side only all right guys I just caught my first walleye of the day he's a baby but it's a walleye and i'll take him <coughs> god talk about a baby man look at that about 10 inches I'm happy to finally get the kind I'm after. This needs to be about three feet longer. Two foot longer, I mean. All right, don't move for one second, or don't make any sudden jolts anyway. All right, guys, little bitty walleye. Very itty bitty. <laughs> I got something on my dang lens, man. Dirt. Alright, guys. Virgil just caught a shadow bass. Goggle eye. About six. Cool catch, nonetheless. Sadly, he just missed a walleye that was probably <sighs> close to mid-twenties. We don't know for sure. We didn't get to see it very long. About a split second. Fell off right at the canoe, just out of arm's reach, literally three feet from his arms. I was trying to get the camera on. Even if I would have been able to get the dip net, I wouldn't have been able to get it in time. Just bad luck, man. We're hoping God gives us one more chance at one. That is, man, that's a good catch. I'm zoomed. That is not a bad bluegill at all, man. It's hard to hold them. Yeah, they got such a tiny mouth. I don't see how he bit it, to be honest. Oh my gosh. It's hard to, there we go. Not a bad bluegill for a river, guys. Heck yeah. Man, pretty fat, really. Bigger than any of them I caught at Brett's house, wasn't it? I didn't get any that big. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I didn't. Guys, Virgil's got a big, big large mouth. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, man. He's hooked good, he's hooked good. Whoa, he's four pounds. He's four pounds, man. 
Oh my gosh. He's 20 inches, man. Oh my gosh. Finally, some kind of redemption. He may have missed that big walleye, but man, that's a big large mouth for this little Ozark stream, guys. Oh my gosh. I knew as soon as you set the hook, it was something real, man. Wow. Evening bite, maybe a little bit, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a big fish. That might be bigger than one you got out of, you know, where with your son, the, that we were just talking about a couple minutes ago. Oh, man. Uh, close. All it took was a little creek going in, guys, to attract that largemouth in here. That is one hell of a bass. Easily four pounds. Gosh. Man, I did have her hook good. Goodness. It, yeah, you didn't even need the dip net, I could tell. Dude, I had to because like you didn't want to chance it after the yeah, walleye. No way I could really boat flip it. Man, that made a mess over there. Oh, look at the bubbles still. Jeez. Right, I'm just gonna have to deal with this. That is a tank. Hold on a second. There's a dead leaf stuck to her. Guys, that is a gigantic Ozark bass. Heck yeah, man. I'll send you pictures probably tomorrow. I'll be so tired when I get home. That's a yeah. big bass. That's a good bass for anywhere, really. That made your day. Now I need to get one. <laughs> God. I knew, man. Oh, man. I didn't think it was that big at first. I thought about taking that popper off. Yeah. I'm sure through, yeah, when you wasn't getting anything at all for hours and my gosh. Did he hit it pretty much right away or after it made a lot of noise for a while? Uh, all right, guys, Virgil got his first smallmouth of the day on the whopper plopper. Little guy, but it's small now. And we are one mile from our takeout officially. All right, hold on. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Small mouth on the plopper. All right. Too bad you can't I, get one like the size of that large mouth. Can you imagine a 3.6? In Missouri, that's rare. All right, guys. Virgil finally caught a walleye that stayed on. I just mentioned, I said, man, there's nothing in this long swampy hole. Because this is like a mile long, no current at all. And it just looks the same everywhere. Well, me and him are throwing deep diving crankbaits, and he got a walleye. What is he, about 18? He's about muddy. <laughs> muddy? Oh, man. Have to wash him in the dip net, maybe. That would have been our third one, besides the one that got off. Yeah, you may have to wash it or something, I don't know. Man, 
right where you right when you least expect it kind of I wasn't expecting it I just had one hit me right here get it down there again get it down there I think that was a damn walleye too, I really do. Oh, that ain't bad at all. It's 17. All right guys, he got Virgil got about a 17 inch walleye. That ain't bad at all, man. Heck yeah. Yeah, they're hard to hold. I got a good photo of you though. I held it for five seconds. Gosh. And their gill plates will cut you. They're mean, man.